back with another do-it-yourself project. We are building a squat and bench rack for your home gym or your garage. So some of those rigs are super expensive or you just can't get them right now. So we figured we would show you how to build your own. Uh, these are definitely some plans that we've drawn up drawn up or I haven't drawn them up. Pat has drawn them up for some of our other CrossFit Polaris members during this time. So we wanted to share these with you guys and hopefully you can put them to use as well. All right guys, so there's actually two different ways to build this. Some people do them with two by fours, and in this we're actually gonna make them with four by fours. So we've got even less cuts um, going on today. And what we've got, we have two Home Depot buckets. Uh, they are um, these 10 gallon buckets. We have two 60 gallon or 60 pound bags of concrete, two four by four by eight foot long posts, these are pressure treated, and I've got six quarter inch by six inch lags to bolt these together. So using these four by fours, this is really cheap and pretty easy. We're only gonna be making a couple of cuts, and all together, this was about $40 worth of stuff. So start to finish, we're gonna have a full, fully working squat and bench stand for under $40. How did we decide how to make our or how high to make our squat rack and how to make our how high to make our bench rack? Um, basically, for the squat rack, we're going to measure from the ground all the way up to my shoulder because I'm the shorter one in the household. So unfortunately, Pat's going to have to deal with my height. Um, so right now, my shoulder height is about 52 inches. So that means we're gonna make our squat rack probably an inch below my shoulder. So it'll sit right around 51 inches. You wanna go a little bit below your shoulder. Uh, I will put lifters on, which will give me a little bit more, but just to make sure that we can unrack the bar and not get stuck in the rack. So step one, we are gonna measure out the cuts. So right now he is marking 54 inches. So we chose to actually go a little bit higher than what I just said because we're gonna give this to somebody at CrossFit Polaris so they can use it in their garage gym since we already have our own squat stand. So 54 inches is what we measured on both of the posts. Now he's gonna just draw a line right across and he's gonna draw the line on all four sides. So when we're cutting it, when he's cutting it, I say we, I'm gonna watch. When he's cutting it, it's easy to see that line all the way around the post. All right guys, so since this is uh, four by four, it's about three and a half inches actually thick, and your saw is probably not gonna go through in one cut, which is why we made lines all the way around. So I'm gonna cut it across the line, flip it, cut it again to get all the way through. For the notches, we're gonna do that on the same thing on both sides. So we drew the line across the inch and a half, found the center, the V on one side, then we're gonna flip the post all the way over and do the exact same thing on the opposite side. All right, so what we did was we drew the line across, the angles down, and we did that on both of the opposite sides like I was talking about. And then basically Pat used a saw and he just sawed off right on those lines. So now we have our notches, which is gonna support our barbell for our squat stand. All right, now we've finished making our notches and our squat stands, we're gonna work on our bench. What you wanna make sure you do, get your bench out, and then you're gonna lay on your bench, just like as if you'd be bench pressing, and you're gonna measure from the floor all the way up to your extended arm, okay? So from the floor all the way up, and then we're gonna subtract about two inches to make sure we can get the bench on and off of the rack. From there, we're gonna make a couple cuts at an angle and anchor it to the squat stand so you can rack your bar on and off, which we're gonna show you next. So for our squat stand, we made a V notch in the top to hold the barbell. Since we've got that, now we don't need a V notch, we just need a slice. So we're gonna have one slice that sandwiches it between our bench post and the squat rack post, which should be a little bit easier to cut as well. Here, I've got an angled cut, and when I cut that, it's gonna create my little uh, triangle right here to pinch the barbell. So it's gonna sit in between my squat rack here and the bench post here. All right, so now that we've got our two pieces, I'm gonna actually screw these together. And these lags have to be long enough to go through the four x four and into the next one. So these are six inches long, and I'm gonna flush up the bottoms and then make sure the sides are even. And I'm gonna put three in. 
All right, so the posts are about done. So now we're going, going to anchor them into the buckets with the cement so that they don't fall over. But if you notice, we did go a couple inches higher because we're gonna give this one to one of our members at CrossFit Polaris. But if I was a little bit taller for Pat, it's perfect. So here's the squat stand piece. And then the bench piece, the bench will just rack right in and right out, just like if we had our typical J cup. It's just not adjustable. All right guys, so next, once our posts are done, you just need a five gallon bucket. And now we're gonna anchor it into the cement so it doesn't fall over, or the concrete. So Pat's gonna help me, we're gonna put the post in. It's not that heavy, but it's a little bit heavy. We're just gonna put it right in the center and I'm gonna hold it while he starts to fill the concrete mix. This is a quick creep. So it, all we do is have to add the mix and then add a little bit of water, let it sit, and then it'll be good to go. All right, so once we've got our posts down in here, it's easiest really just to fill the bucket with dry concrete. Because what it'll do is it'll hold this post up, but still give me enough wiggle room that if I need to adjust it to kind of make it level, I'm still able to do that. And then once I'm sure that I like where it is, I can fill it with water and that water is gonna lock it in. And then once the water is in there, it's gonna take about 24 hours to set up. All right, so now I've got my posts in, I've got my concrete in the bucket, and these aren't something structural. It's a lot like setting a fence post. So we don't actually even have to mix our concrete. All I've gotta do is basically fill this bucket with water, and it's gonna be enough to basically weight this thing down and keep these things in place. All right, so we got a finished squat rack here. Holds up our barbell, is just under my shoulder height. So I can dip underneath. Stand up with ease, step right back, and I'm squatting. I think the only downfall with this is that they are freestanding, so make sure you're careful that you don't rack one side before you rack the other because it could slide a little bit and that you don't slam it in like you would maybe on a rig post because they're freestanding. So another idea you could do is back it up into a wall just so those buckets can't slide and you can keep them nice and even. But now let's show you the bench. Wanna get our bench on, so Pat's gonna lay back. The bar is rolled all the way back, he unracks it, I can spot him, and then he wraps it right back in. So again, same thing here is when you rack the bar, just don't slam it in too hard because you could tend to push the uprights back just because they're freestanding. But this is awesome. I mean, it gets us from not squatting to squatting, maybe from not benching to benching, having a place to rack our bar. It's perfect and I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to drop any comments on the cuts, the measurements, any questions you have at all into the comments section. We'd love to answer anything for you. And if there's anything you'd love to see us build or Pat build and me supervise in the future, make sure to drop that below as well. I can't wait to see you guys again. Have a great day.